So the first step you're going to do is apply a neutral base all over your lids. I'm just using a depotted stick concealer. And it's just to cover up any blemishes and veins and also to give, make your colors more pigmented. Next step is to take a black eyeliner. I'm just using a normal black eyeliner and what I'm going to be doing is applying this as a black base. So if you have any black cream base that works exactly the same as a black eyeliner, but I think this is simpler and more people have a plain black pencil eyeliner than a black base. And what you're going to be doing is applying it from your lash line all the way up to your crease. So I'm bringing my crease up a little higher than my no no normal natural crease, just because I want this look to be a little more dramatic. And this doesn't have to be the neatest thing in the world because you are going to be blending. You just want to be able to have enough color on your eye. So I'm going to be taking my finger and then just blending this out to give me a nice black base. Make sure it's smooth, which is pretty important. So, I'm going to be taking a matte black eyeshadow right here and a 239 and just packing this on wherever I have the black base. So right a little past my natural crease because I have a very small crease. So packing it onto the brush and packing it onto my lid. So I'm using a patting motion, not a sweeping motion. This will prevent fallout and also give you a more pigmented look. Now give you a little bit of history about flappers. Flappers actually did not use eyeshadow. They used mostly coal liner. But obviously since we have eyeshadow nowadays, it's wise to use it, I guess. Um, they also didn't wear blush. So we're going to do a very natural blush look. So I just filled in the cream eyeshadow, and as you can tell, it looks a lot better already. And the next step we're going to be doing is just fading it up into a brow bone color. So I'm going to be taking a 222, and this gray color in this quad. This quad is the accentuated top quad from L'Oreal. I got it from BridgetsBoutique.com, but you can get this quad. It's lim it was limited edition, but just get any quad with a gray and a black and like a white. And what I'm going to be doing is just blending this in to my crease, and then we're going to be reading the outer corner. So, I'm just going to be blending that into where my black stops to bring up the look a little bit and to warm it up. So, as you can tell, it looks a lot more, the look looks a lot more smoky and warm now. This is adding a little bit of sparkle and just warming up the whole look. and use circular motions to blend and you're going to want to take it out a little bit on the edge so as you can tell it looks very smoky and dramatic now which looks pretty gorgeous to me my highlight color is going to be used very sparingly I'm going to be using Alfine Summit by Aspen Summit oops, by Sephora it's a very shimmery, very pigmented, very frosty white so use it very, um, very sparingly because you don't want your highlight to be over dramatic I'm using a 217 because I really want to blend the highlight into my crease color. So I just completed all the eye makeup. It's not that complicated. Um, I think it's pretty nice. And the next step I'm going to be doing is just taking my black eyeliner, lining my um, lower lash line. And I'm also going to be applying eyeliner on my top lash line. It's not going to do that much, but, um, you know, might as well give it a go. And it says the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Marker. What I'm going to be doing next is just smoking out my eyes a little bit more. So I'm taking my 222 and just going on my lower lash line with the gray color. 
So you just want to smoke out the lower lash line. Let it just lash this apply a little bit of mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, so I just applied mascara, and what is going to be next is cheeks and lips. I'm going to zoom out. Alright, so we'll be doing the hair later, um, so that's why my hair is just up in a little hair band, and it's just down. But, um, for my cheeks, I'm going to be just taking a blush brush. This is from Le Cosmetique, and it's just an average blush brush. I'm going to be taking my Mineral Shadow from Orglamix in Nice, A-N-I-S-E. It's a coral color. It's a sparkly coral color. And I'm just going to be applying that sparingly on my cheeks, as I told you before. This is the color of it. Um, flappers did not wear blush. So I'm going to be tapping off a lot of the excess onto my cap. As you can tell, a lot of the excess came out. Smile and apply this mostly on my apples. And just blend up. And the next part is a little more complicated, and it's the lips. So my first step is to use a chapstick or any lip balm. I'm just using plain old original chapstick. Very red lip liner like this. This is from Jaguar Luxury. I adore these lip liners and eyeliners. So check these out if you want. They're super cheap. But this is a bright red. And then I'm going to be using an OCC Lip Tar and Nemure. And then I'm going to be using my Revlon lipstick. So this is going to be long wearing, and it's going to be super dark and very flapper-esque. Blending my lips, emphasizing the cupid's bow. Next up is to apply the lip tar. Mine is a fuchsia color. This is called Demure. Alright, so as you can tell, it's a bright fuchsia color. And this is in Demure. It's a lip tar. And the next step is the last step, I know, finally. And it's to take Revlon's lipstick in Teak Rose, which is a creme. And it looks like this. It's a super lustrous lipstick. And it's this shade, so it's a nice red. And the combination of all these colors is a nice coloration for a flapper lip. Alright, so I just finished the whole entire lip look, and I'm really, really love, and I'm really, really loving it. Um, and this is the whole look combined: just dark, deep, smoky eyes, natural cheeks, and a dark, dark lip. I love this look, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the hair. For right this now, look, I just have my hair tied back with a hair tie, and what I'm gonna be doing is a faux bob. And you can curl your hair for this because most slappers had curly hair, but um. Maybe that's just my imagination. I don't know. But you can curl your hair for this if you want. But I'm just going to be showing you how you can achieve a faux bow with anything. All you need is a flapper-esque headband. I'm just using this plain one. But they sell the um, really pretty beaded headbands at Forever 21. So you can get those there online or you can go to the store or wherever. And they also bobby pins. Pl tying this at the nape of my neck. And then letting it loose a little bit, like this, so it looks like my hair could possibly be this length, um, but I still have hair there. So it's easier if your ponytail is shorter and you have shorter hair than I do. So I'm going to loosen this a little more so my ponytail is pretty short and I look like I have a long bob. So what I do with the rest of the hair is I roll it. So I take this, like here, and I roll it down until it's underneath and then with the extra hair I have it flipped up like this and I'm going to be pinning this to my head 
hard to show because I can't see the back of me here. Just everywhere with a zillion bobby pins, as many as you can get. You could also get a flapper wig. That could work too. It's probably a lot easier if you don't have dark black hair already. Just get the rest under here. And just like that. So it looks like I have a cute little bob. You obviously are going to style it a little bit to make it look a little more realistic than it is now. I look like I have a lopsided bob, but I look like I have a little bob, and I think it's kind of cute. Um, I think I'm going to go for this hairstyle when I'm maybe 30. Not now, though. <laughs> this is a little unrealistic on the back, but, you know, you can play with it. Um, and then get your flapper-esque headband, considering I don't have one right now. I'm just going to get one of these stretchy hair ties, and you can just, like, put in little, like, doodles and daddles, like, you know, like this could even be on it, just, like, say another feather in my head, okay. Anything feathered, anything beaded would be fine. And what you're going to be doing is applying, putting this right in the middle of your head and back like this, and then you look like a true flapper. So, yeah, that is the hair, and it basically for the costume, they sell a zillion and ten flapper costumes. So don't even worry about not even find, being able to find a costume because you will definitely find one. Or you can just go get a friend dressed at any store because they're sold now all the time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little flapper how-to costume and fashion Halloween video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Bye.